Well, I started running low on fuel in that thing. Uh, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, I didn't have a lot of fuel in it to begin with. So I didn't mow this side of the yard or the cul-de-sac because that's a little bit, uh, it's not that long. I mowed up in front of the house and this down here around the equipment because it looks a little nicer. I need to move equipment and, uh, well, it's not going to sit there all winter. But it is nice to have this bigger lawn now that I uh, expanded it. And I think we're going to keep it that way for the foreseeable future. I do like it opened up like that. Um, this driveway has been needing to get opened up for a while. The grass was getting so tall and encroaching on the driveway. and That's where it would be nice to have like a one of those three-point flail mowers or something like that that I can hang out into the ditch. With the zero turn, I can't get into the ditch because it's so steep. Um, but we got it pushed back a couple of three feet or so on each side and the driveway looks much better this weekend we're looking at rain tonight so i don't want to grade today maybe tomorrow if we don't get a lot of rain tonight we'll uh, grade tomorrow put the grader behind the h the 1941 john deere h um and you can see i took an extra pass there this is a bunch of material that i removed from when I cleaned out the ditch down there because the driveway was flooding on a regular basis. Um, and I brought it all up in here and made a mound and I was hoping we'd start getting more uh, wild raspberries, but, and we're starting to. I've been uh, reluctant to pick them as hoping they would drop and reseed. But you can see we're starting to get a few wild raspberry plants. It seems like this would be the perfect recipe for them. I have to uh, do a little homework on, you know, what else you gotta do to get rid of the, the competition. But uh, yeah, they'll naturally seed in there. Why not? But now you can see the driveway looks much more open and much wider just by getting that uh, by six feet total or so off of there. And you can see there's dirt mounds and stuff like that that need to be cleaned up. And as you get to the, just past the pine trees there, that ditch sloughs off on that side it sloughs off pretty dramatically that's why i say it would be nice to have a either a sickle mower or something of the sort to to uh use that to knock down the ditches but we got that done for today i'm gonna go off and do something else and probably go back to working in the shop or making a fencing video i don't know like subscribe comment share memberships are there if you want one certainly helps us out on the channel you guys your patronage to the channel is the reason i can do this so i thank you we'll see you on the next one